Are you ready to unlock your true potential? Introducing 30 Days to Unleash the Lion Within, a revolutionary series that will transform you into the leader God intends you to be. In just 30 days, you embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth. This free resource offers a series of messages, each packed with proven methods to simplify and apply God's word to your life. Inside this series, you'll find practical strategies to unleash your leadership potential. You need to learn how to harness the power of God's wisdom and apply it to your everyday decisions. Discover how to lead with integrity, inspire others, and make a lasting impact. But this just isn't another series. It's a transformative experience that will help you find your purpose, ignite your passion, and unleash the lion within. So visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash to claim your free copy of this series. Don't wait any longer. Visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash and become the leader God intends you to be. Welcome to The Lion Within Us, a podcast serving Christian men who are hungry to be the leaders God intends you to be. I'm your host, Chris Granger. Let's jump in. All right, guys, it is fun Friday time. I'm excited to be here with you. Looking forward to hanging out, having a good time. Before we get too far in it, let's share our scripture of the week. All right, so we're in the book of Ephesians this week, chapter 2, looking at just one verse, verse 10. It says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So go back, check out the spiritual kickoff. We unpack this verse at, at, at length. And guys, we have to remember that each and every one of us, you may not feel that you're God's handiwork. You know what? That is a lie from the evil one. He wants you to think that you're no good. He wants you to think that you're no count. He wants you to think that you're worthless. Squash those lies. Send them back to the gates of hell where they belong. Release the power of the Holy Spirit. And remember, dog on it, you are created just the way he wants you to. You, whatever you think is a flaw or a defect, nope, that was purposely put there. I stumble on my words a lot. And guess what? I'm a podcaster because I'm going to use what he's given me for his work, for his glory. And I'm just going to lean into it every day. That's what it's all about, fellas. So I just pray that you're encouraged by that. I also pray that you're encouraged by, pa- by Pastor Cedric Brown and his testimony from growing up in Compton to the NFL. Well, actually, growing up in Compton to Washington State University playing Division One football, to the NFL playing for the Eagles, to being cut, to thinking that was his identity, to recognizing, no, nope, that's not my identity, to, his, to, his, to the success that he had in the corporate America, and then realizing, you know what, that's not my identity either. Everything that I am is about Christ, being a son of the King. And man, what a powerful story. And now 18 years later in, in the ministry full-time, I'm just blessed and honored to be able to have him on the show to share that. And guys, it's about encouraging you as the Christian man right now, where you are, right now, where you are. I'm telling you, God's doing some big stuff. You better get ready. You better just take a step every day in the path of doing what he's called you to do. All right. So guys, let's get into our fun Friday tips. Now, for new listeners, we do a health, a wealth, and a self tip every week. Health tip is your mind and body. How do we have stronger minds and stronger bodies, right? Wealth tip is about uh, finances and our career. So how do we do uh, good stewardship around that? And self tip is how do we just be better husbands and dads? There's so much out there pushing back against us, particularly as we lead our families. What can we do to push back against that, okay? So now, for the health tip, I'm going more mind with this one. And I just want to share this. Even though I write devotions, don't just get stuck in topical devotions, okay? They're great for seasons of life. They're great for trials. But there's no replacement for just studying God's Word for what it is, the ultimate source of truth. And it's again, it can be easy to gravitate towards topics. And while they can provide you value, man, sometimes just sitting in the Gospels or in Psalms or in Proverbs, wherever he's leading you to, heck, I don't know, Ruth, whatever, where he's leading you to, because his word has the power to illuminate any dark areas you may be struggling with, period. And I know we write devotionals. I write devo- devotional every week. But I try to really focus those more on the word itself and how we can apply that to our life. But you see something, and there's nothing wrong with marriage devotionals and parenting devotionals and stuff like that. I'm just saying, don't live there. Make sure you're putting time as well into just soaking in the gospel of John. How about how? When's the last time you studied Romans? 
Have you ever just sat there and just, you know what, let's go through Genesis and learn some deeper truths about that. There's power in studying his word. It's going to strengthen your mind. It's going to get you more prepared mentally for the battles that are to come. So don't just put that off. I know it can be very tempting if you're doing small groups and things like that to just go from this topic, this topic, this topic. I'm telling you, slow down. And every now and then, just open up a copy of God's Word and pick a, pick a chapter, pick a, bio, pick a book, and just go there. All right? Now, your wealth tip. I want you to prioritize generous giving. I've talked about this a lot in the past, but it's effective. If 2 Corinthians 9, 7 tells us each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful, cheerful giver. Now think about that. It's a heart issue. Anytime you get to talk about money, I know directly, directly, whether it's myself or others, whenever there's contention around money, it always ties back to the heart. It just does because it's reflective of that. And generous giving reflects God's love, right? His generosity towards us. I'm just telling you, it changes stuff. And, and we need to recognize that everything we own is his. It's all about stewardship. And this opens up uh, uh, really our hearts to joy and to the blessing that comes from giving. Because I don't know about you, you hear it all saying it's better to give than receive. There's truth in that. I'd much rather be able to, to give and to serve someone else than anything I can receive because I've already received the greatest gift ever, Jesus, salvation. That's it. So maybe you need to start being intentional about this. So I set a top-line budget item right now, something that comes uh, b- before everything, not, effort, not, effort, not after everything's spent, right? Because usually we get the budget, we get to look it upside down. All right, we spent, spent, spent. What's left? Okay, maybe I'll give that to God. No. Nope. This should be the starting point, the starting point. Maybe you want to go with 10%. Maybe you want to go with 15 Maybe you want to go with 20 Whatever that number is, don't limit yourself. Just put, just put there and stick to it and put it at the top. And then look for areas that you can support. Obviously, your local church, your missions, charitable organizations, but places that align with your values. That's what it's all about. But prioritize that generous giving. I know for us, we, we definitely tie to the church and things like that, but we're always looking for other opportunities. People who are struggling or people who, who, who suffered some type of loss or whatever it may be, the widows, the orphans, those are, those are big needs as well that, that are out there. Be intentional about it. And then put it first. Don't wait till the end. Well, tithing, man, I can't believe the tithing. It's just, it takes too much money away and, and you know, it hurts. And I'm like, yeah, it's supposed to. Because if you're tithing and it's not, you don't feel that little pinch, you know what? You may not be giving enough. I'm not going to get into gross versus uh, net. None of that. that. That's between you and the Lord. I can tell you, though, every time this comes up, it's always a hard issue. It just is. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because it's always true. It's always true. Money is a hard issue. Money is not the root of, evil, of, of all evil. Nope. But the love of money is. So just be careful with it. That's why the lion, everything we talk about is about stewardship. Stewardship. How are we managing what God has blessed us? All right. Self-tip. Better husbands, better dads. I'm also going to hit this right on the nose. Boys make babies. Men make fathers. They just do. Boys make babies. Men make fathers. Because I'm going to tell you what. I'm tired of beating around the bush on this. The, act, the matter of the fact is any boy, any dude can get a girl pregnant. It doesn't take a whole lot there. Right? But it has 0% impact on his effectiveness as a man and as a leader of that child. So if you want to be a man, if you want to be a leader, then recognize the power that you have, if embraced, of being a father. Because the true pandemic we have going on here, fellas, in the, in the land we have, is really is the family and fatherlessness. And it starts with the head of the home. If I was the evil one, I, you know how I attack it? I start taking the, the dads out. And guess what? He's winning. That's what's happening. We've got to course correct here. And how do you course correct? You show and you teach young men what it means to be a godly father. You disciple them. You spend time with them. You help them with your, when they're struggling. And instead of just saying, I'll pray for you, you actually pray for them. Okay? And then how about this? Pull out your wallet and help them. Put some skin in the game. You see a young man out there struggling with his family? Pull out your wallet, help him out from time to time. Because you never know how those little steps are going to encourage him 
to not turn to the bottle, not turn to the drugs, not turn to another woman, not turn to pornography, whatever it may be. But you're trying to start, we have to take the responsibility to teach the next generation about being a man. And it starts with you, with you and being a good father and being a strong, godly husband. I don't know what else you could do to make a bigger impact on the people around you than that right there. We just need to recognize, guys, you are called to this. You cannot outsource being a father. You cannot outsource being a husband. It's not going to last. It's not going to work. It's not God's design. You, you know what you're thinking? I'm not good enough. I've made too many mistakes. I can't. You don't know what I've done. You know what? I don't. I don't know what you've done. I don't know your history, your testimony. I love to hear it. But I can tell you one thing. None of that stuff defines you. Christ does. Christ defines you. That's your identity. Right? This week we've been talking about what identifies us. You better make sure you go along and believe it that Christ does. Not some lie that you're telling yourself and when it's quiet that you're no good. That you're addicted to pornography. That you can't stop spending money. That you can't stop eating. That you that you're too too dumb to get a good job. Whatever the lie you're telling you, just stop it. Recognize right here. You're a man. You're meant to lead. The dog on it. Boys make babies. Men make fathers. Time to step up and be one. All right. So let's get into it, fellas. Right here. Those are your three tips. Health, well, self. That health. Don't get stuck in topical devotions. Sometimes just study God's word. Well tip. Prioritize that generous giving, fellas. I'm telling you, you better make it a big a priority. It should be the first thing in your budget. Self tip. Boys make babies. Men make fathers. So need to recognize this. And speaking of men, man, you got this. This is one of uh, uh, Pastor Cedric Mann's books. He sent me three of them. He's got another one here. Uh, Act like a man, woman. You, uh, woman, can you help me? Uh, he loves me. He sent me several of his books. I'm just telling you, go check it out. We're going to put this one as our book of the week. Uh, man, you got this. This is a great little resource right here for you guys. Very easy read. Also makes a good devotional if you want to work through some, some things with your men's group. It uses heavy, heavy scripture, guys. Again, it's not going to be a replacement for studying the book of James with your men's group. But if you are looking for, for a resource or something like that, check out some of the stuff because the discussion questions are really solid, okay? All right, guys. So that I kind of want to share that with that one with you as well. Let's get over to our dad jokes, all right? So now, dad joke number one. I got mugged by six dwarfs yesterday. Not happy. So that's, that is so bad. That's number one, though. Number two, how do you have a party in space? You plan it. That's it. I mean, you just plan it. So it's pretty simple. So anyway, fellas, uh, number one, I got mugged by six dwarfs yesterday. Not happy. Number two, how do you have a party in space? You plan it. So let me know which one you like. Remember, I'm rolls totally count. If you get that little smile from your wife, you know you hit it down on, okay? So, and if you have a dad joke you want to send us, like, Chris, this is a dad joke. You need to use this one. Support at the lion with us. Just put dad joke in the subject. We'll use it. We'll give you some free swag as well for helping us out, okay? All right, check that. Check out the question of the week, fellas. What defines your identity? That's simple. What defines your identity? If it's anything besides Christ, I'm telling you, your 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 LinkedIn, your profile, your resume, your marriage, your kids, none of that stuff defines you. Christ does. As a as a son of the king. So I just implore you, if you're thinking, if you have any of these thoughts about these things that are defining you that are not him, just man, cast that stuff out. I just I, I beg you, seek some counsel. Get around some other godly men that are gonna help remind you who you are and whose you are. That's the most important thing I can share with you. So, fellas, hopefully you're enjoying this stuff. Hopefully you enjoy the Fun Friday episodes. I have a lot of fun putting these together. Uh, share that with others. You know, that's how we spread the ministry. That's how we, that's just how we do it. Share it. So share this out. Uh, share out uh, Pastor Cedric Brown's episodes. Share out the spiritual kickoffs. Then go to thelionwithin.us. Go there. And I'm just going to be straight up. Join the community. We give it a month for free. Try it out. If you don't like it, bounce out. No harm, no foul. But we put a lot of effort into this to serve Christian men, to help you be the leader God intends you to be. And if you don't take the opportunity to check it out, you'll never know if it can serve you. 
if it can help you. Because you may go through that season, that trial, where you just need some counsel. We are here for you. Okay? So go check that out. The lionwithin.us. Check out all our stuff for the community. Check out the information we have for our Summit Leadership Development Program. Guys, we, we have so much out there that we're, that we're building, that we're trying to equip you with. We have our live events. We have a mission trip coming up as well. Tons and tons of ways to connect with us. If you want me to come do some speaking for your men's group, our speaking page has the different topics. There's lots of ways we can help, fellas. I just lean into it. See if it can, if it, how that would serve you well. And guys, thank you just so much for listening. So hopefully you'll see you back here next week for some more episodes, good, good Lord willing. And I just really appreciate you again, guys. Take it, thank you just from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to listen to The Lion Within Us, for the encouragement that you give us. Uh, check us out on YouTube. I, I need some soldiers on YouTube, to be honest. Uh, our YouTube channel is getting a lot of traction, which is great. We need some soldiers out there willing to to, to stand in the fray with me. Uh, there's a lot of, of hate. There's a lot of uh, of just just evil, if you will, that's coming to our channel from people who I don't know why they're coming to our channel. But uh, I know one thing. We're going to keep pushing the truth. We're going to keep sharing the gospel. We're going to keep making a whole lot about Jesus day in and day out. And we just know, you know what, if it helps one person, one person come to know him, man, it's all worth it. So you can follow us there. That'd be great. Subscribe to the channel. Again, thelionwithin.us. We have links to all that stuff on the website. Okay, guys? All right, guys, get after it. Have a great day. Thank you so much for your time. And remember, keep unleashing the lion within. If you're a man who's looking for greater spiritual guidance into how to become a better leader, finding resources that you can trust and then implement can be daunting. For me personally, I thought it was a lost cause, and I decided to take the action knowing that I wasn't alone. It was because of this wide gap that we created our Lion Within Us community, and the areas that we were helping Christian men grow are incredible. For instance, we built ways for guys to lean in and grow through fun events like our daily spiritual kickoff, where you get that much-needed boost directly from God's Word. Our Bible studies that always focus on how to discern and apply what we learn. And even our amazing form, where you can speak your mind without fear of getting shut down or judged by the extreme rules of modern day social media. On top of all that, we know that many men want help overcoming issues and becoming stronger in many different areas. That's why we created several mastermind groups where their iron truly sharpens the iron. Our community is about having a growth mindset, accountability, intentionality, and transparency. In other words, just leave fake you at home and come to community just as you are. I fully believe in what we've built. I see the impact it's making on men right now, and I would love to have you check it out. So start your very own 30-day free trial today to see how we can help you be a better leader. So if you're ready to take that first step, head over to thelionwithin.us and get started. Your journey begins here. Visit thelionwithin.us, and I'll see you inside the den.